Good morning, chicks and chickens. Welcome back to Old Man Farm. My name is Sid, as always. It appears we forgot to light our fire last night, but hey, it's summer, so no big deal. Let's check our fortune. Somewhat mildly perturbed with the encumbering uh, sentence again. So we have a few mods to look into here. Uh, let me grab the mouse. The first one um, is it adds a bunch of uh, UI updates. So it shows things like birthdays, your luck, things like that. Now I am going to get rid of a lot of these things. Uh, for instance, I don't want it to show luck because I like looking at the TV. It's sort of part of our routine. I do like the level up, the experience bars. I think those are cool. I do not want to show townspeople on the map. Uh, I feel like that's a weird god power I don't want to have. Um, I don't want it to show people's birthdays. Again, I want to have to learn that and work for that. Heart fills, uh, what that does is see there's little like partials. I think that's kind of cool. I'm okay with that. Uh, show when animals need pets, sure. Uh, calendar billboard button, no, I do not want that. Now, crop times and sprinkler and scarecrow range, um, I'm into that. I, we're going to get rid of the traveling merchant because, again, I feel like we should just do that on our own. Um, don't show rainy days. Uh, I'm not sure what new recipes are available means, so we're going to leave that. Tool upgrade status, I'm okay. Robin building status, I'm okay. I don't know what show seasonal forageables does, so we're going to leave that on until we know. Um, gifts given today, I don't know what that is either so we're gonna turn that off because we can already see if we've given gifts okay so but what that will do for us uh on an actual level here oh look and i did the butterflies i added things so um you can see over here jeff he has a little pet icon that's not overly needed but i kind of like it but here look now you can see we have one day until this is ready to harvest eight days five days six days see i think that's kind of nice um, and this was suggested to me by, uh, I believe her name was Elise, so thank you. Uh, it's a really awesome mod. Um, say hi to Poke, and Ollie, and Monroe. Oh, speaking of, I will throw some pictures. I don't know if I have any videos, maybe, but I, we, we had all the dogs outside. Well, and the cat, actually. And, um, it was a good time, so you can see what they look like in real life. Um, Dear Sid, I saw an article about you on the local paper. Sounds like the country life is a good fit for you. I'm so proud of you. Take care, sweetie. Love, Mom. Thanks, Ma. Uh, but yeah, I also I added the L's, Ellie's, whatever. Uh, I think it's called Town Animals. So it'll, it'll be in the description, as always. But I made it so that the butterflies look like um, some actual real-world butterflies. And, you know, actually, now that I have this, I'm not sure if this timer thing on this is going to be annoying. If this annoys anyone, you guys let me know. If I get an overwhelming response saying they hate it, I will get rid of it. But I, de I can definitely cope with it being there. Uh, I just I didn't want to add anything that was going to be like game breaking. Like, like again, like I don't want to know where people are at on the map. I I realize the reason for that, and I I'm to I totally get it. Not yucking anyone's yum, but for me, um, I'm trying to. I don't know. I want to sort of exist in the world, not play in a way that makes me feel like I have mm, like some sort of special power I shouldn't. Like, if I really just paid attention and did the math, I would know how many days are left on my crops, right? That's okay for me. But like knowing where people are and um, just having a pop-up for people's birthdays and stuff, I, I don't know. I could see doing it maybe like, you know... On my personal game, if I was trying to really get, you know, everything every time, you know. But I, I think we're just trying to have a nice, relaxed time. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to overcomplicate it. And thankfully, it allows you to just adjust it. So I think it's a really great mod. So again, thank you for pointing that one out to me. Uh, but yeah, beyond that, let's see. We are going to beautify the place up a bit, right? Going to build some fences. Uh, we will... Maybe do a little illumination. We'll chop down... Well, I don't know if we'll get to the chopping of the trees, but I would like to chop down some of the trees that are in the field. Um, maybe go through and cut down all of the weeds around the for, uh, around the farm. Just sort of, you know, make the place look a little more lived in today. Um, oh, but you know what I'm thinking? We really need to be making money. we got to get towards that coop, don't we? Okay, well... 
then here's what we'll do. Well, no, wait. How long is it going to be? Four more days for the blueberries. Yeah, we've got a while till we're going to be getting a proper harvest. So, hmm. Oh, the other thing that that mod adds. Look down in the bottom left corner. See? It shows you what level all of your various skills are, which I think is pretty rad. Uh, but, okay, since we need money... Uh, let's... Yes, thank you, dogs. We're gonna go ahead and fish. Uh, I'm gonna pause real quick and find out where we should fish to make sure we're getting some stuff for the community center. Okay, looks like we're gonna go to the ocean, um, because there's just a lot of things we could be getting there. So, we'll, we'll pop over that direction. Let's say hi to Marnie real quick. I love animals, Mr. Sid. If you treat yours well, I'm sure we'll become good friends. Well, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm, I'm going to get some money right now, so we can hopefully get that coop sooner rather than later. Uh, and hey, whatever fish we catch here, remember, we can save some for the aquarium, which I am very excited about. I'm thinking that that might be a, maybe like every Friday. A gentle little sunbeam woke me up this morning. I've never felt so refreshed. I'm sorry if that isn't very interesting. No, that's very interesting to me, Elliot. That's uh, it's a wonderful thing. It's a good way to wake up. I'm happy for you. Uh, but yeah. Hey, Alex. Hey, farmer guy. You look a little burnt. Well, it's because I'm bald. Um, <laughs> where's where's the hoe? There it is. Uh, I forget what I was saying. What is that? Is that a sand dollar? Oh, it is. Oh, that's another thing. It, we have now, see, it shows you, like, that's for the night fishing bundle. It shows what they sell for, um, things like that. I think that's kind of nice, too. Again, it's not, you know, not, not game-breaking, but enough that uh, I think it adds something to it. But, okay, so we could catch, I believe, tilapia, pufferfish, tuna, and I think that's it as far as the... Um, the community center is concerned, but either way, this is leveling up our fishing. Any fish we get, we can use for the aquarium, which is great. I see an octopus and a starfish out there. That's pretty good. Cool. Whoa! We got a fancy lad. Damn. Okay. Well, that's why we do this. If we level up our fishing enough, that won't be a problem. Um... But yeah, like I was saying, I, I took the, the animals outside to play. Uh, the cat, Jeff, he is, like, eternally interested in going outside. He was actually, like, a he was found as a kitten outdoors. And that just never really left him. So, uh, I have a harness for him. I think in the pictures, it was sort of impromptu. So, I just, th th he just, damn it. Fish is difficult. Um, he just has, like, a lead around him, but... You know, we were sitting there watching him, so he wasn't in any danger of getting out. He just likes to walk around with the rest of the animals. Okay, we're not going to get anywhere if all we get is... Oh my god, these fit... I guess we're not... You don't get experience if you miss? That seems kind of janky. I don't like that. Just going to be a day of failure. Uh, but yeah, the cat has a full-blown harness, but he can get out of that just as easy, so... It doesn't really seem to matter much. Oh my god. Jesus. Okay, well, maybe without a bobber, a proper bobber, we're not really going to get much. Oh, unless it's, you know, seaweed that doesn't fight back. I can't believe you don't get experience if you don't catch. I would really think that even a failure would garner you some experience. Oh well. Here we go. Finally, something normal. <laughs> Those damn red mullets. But hey, it's iridium. That's those are not bad money-wise. I'd rather catch a bunch of those than have a bunch of crazy fish that I can't catch. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We were doing so good. Oh my god, that is 
so difficult. We do so well. And oh my god. I don't know. Might have to go over to Willie's to see if he has any bobbers. Well, never mind. He just left. Damn it. He leaves at 3 o'clock. Willie, I appreciate that you have a nice, easy job. But that really sucks. And we're starting to feel exhausted. Well, this was worthless. This was absolutely worthless. Oh, my God. Are you kidding? We failed on a seaweed. Wow. I was anticipating it being one of the crazy fish, so I... I guess we'll try again. I... This, uh, is turning out to be quite a waste of a day. Oh, you know what? I bet what those are is pufferfish. Because the pufferfish is only available from noon till four. And those are... Fairly difficult, if I remember correctly. So maybe now that the puffer fish are out of the equation, we might have a chance to, you know, catch something that isn't a red mullet or a puffer fish. Or maybe not. There we go. That's a tuna. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. Finally getting something. Just what I always wanted. Driftwood. We can take the few back up to the community center when we're done here. Oh my god, now I'm all gonna catch this garbage. <laughs> this is a terrible, terrible fishing day. Yeah, it was definitely the puffer fish. Well, now we know. Until I get some better uh, bait and whatnot, we do not... We don't come here to fish uh, from noon to four. But we still have the option of getting the... Oh no, the tilapia is only 6 to 2. Well, no matter. Oh crap. This guy's a little tough. Woo. Oh boy. Jesus, okay. Yeah, I see why people get frustrated with the fishing game. It, uh... Until you have better equipment, it can be just brutal. I, I still really enjoy it, but I can definitely see why it irks people. Nice. Perfect. Uh, but I do like that when we catch a fit or do anything, it shows us how much experience you get. Like that last red mullet gave us 64 experience, and you see your little bar move. Um, I think that's pretty rad. I, you know, it adds like a sort of RPG element, which I appreciate. The one thing that I do, I, I kind of dislike about the fishing mechanic, um, and I can explain that. Oh, nice, a new tuna. Is that the green bar, I think that if the green bar is touching the fish, that should count. But it's actually... It's like the center of the fish. So your green bar can be over, you know, 40% of the fish and it not count. Nice flounder. And it not count towards um, it actually being on it and reeling it in. That is my only complaint. Is that the entirety of the fish doesn't count. Ooh, these erratic ones, man. It's gonna dive. Here it comes. Yep. Oh, but then they do that. That's what always gets me. See, like that right there. The The bar was over a good majority of the fit. Not a majority, but a good portion of the fish, and it didn't count. That's, that's, that's a little bit frustrating. It's mitigated with bobbers and such. Whoa! We got a super cucumber. All right, I take it back. The day's, the day's going all right. Let's see what that achievement was, though. Uh, where is it? Catch 24 different fish. Nice. Now, I'll have to look if that super cucumber is used for something. If not, I I guess we chuck him in the uh, 
And the aquarium. I'd like to catch another one of those. That'd be awesome. Because I'm sure they sell pretty well. If I remember correctly, they, they sell very well. They're one of the higher priced fish. I know it's not a fish, but you know what I mean. We're going to lose to seaweed again. Because of that damn bounce. There is a bobber that eliminates that bounce. The one I normally go for is the one that makes it so... You lose less of your reel in when you're not on the fish. I think that that's just overall the most effective, you know? Come on, fish. We need that money. Oh, treasure chest. Nice. I'll take that. Amphibian fossil. Heck yeah. I'm into that. The museum's closed for the night, but that'll be okay. Let's throw that in our to-go box. <laughs> More seaweed. Which I guess just extends our ability to keep fishing, right? But... Okay, we're gonna... Pro yeah, this will probably be our last cast, since we're starting to feel exhausted. Come on, something good. I see a bunch of sea cucumbers huddled around the rock. I mean, I don't know that I could catch one of those again. That was difficult, but I am down to try. Do anything crazy. It's a halibut. Nice. That is not bad. Uh, okay. Well, we'll go up to the community center, drop these few things off. We'll sell the rest, and we'll head home. So peaceful. Let's search through some garbage cans. Hi, Dusty. <laughs> Gotta give Dusty the pets. Um, there was an option to change Dusty's sprite in the town, the town, oh, the town animals mod, but I chose to keep him vanilla. I like the way he looks. Plus it matches with his, um, like actual portrait. So let's see here. The super cucumber is not, oh, it sells for 468. Yeah, those are insane. Okay, we need the tuna for ocean fish and the bream for night fishing. Okay, that is awesome. Honestly, that alone is really, I think, just great. To be able to hover over it and see what it's used for. Uh, I hate searching through that. I, uh, you know, I mean, I get it, but it does kind of suck. Now, see, I thought we needed the rainbow shell for something. I swear. I'm gonna look, though, because... I just want to make sure the mod is working correctly. Okay, I guess not. Fine by me. That's just more to sell. So this should yield us... Uh, not, not a whole lot, I guess. It wasn't a terribly productive day, honestly, but... We will just keep doing this uh, until our, when our harvest comes up, we will definitely have enough to get our, um, we'll definitely have enough to get the coop going. Oh, crap. <laughs> it's too late, isn't it? Yep. Okay. Well, I want to hold on to one of each of these fish. So, damn. Yeah, we really didn't get much today. I can sell the sand dollar. It doesn't have any use. The amphibian will go to the the museum. Oh, I can sell this other bream because we have one for the uh, aquarium already. Don't tuna, flounder, halibut. There we go. Oh, that's another thing it does. That's I think that's pretty cool. So if you hover over this, it'll say 
what it's going to give us and how long it'll take, which I think is pretty nice. Again, not really game-breaking, so I'm into it. Okay. So we do... We only need a hundred stone? Yes. So let's see what we can make. Thirty-five. It's not bad, and we need, let me see here, 300 wood. So that means we can make some gates. Let's see, like one. I know I need one for the coop area. We'll just go f with one for right now. See, because I think we need one back here. Because there is an opening in our fence, and when we do eventually put our animals in here, yeah, right there. See? Wait. Oh. Uh. Okay, well that didn't work how I anticipated. Hmm, clearly I don't know how gates work. That's okay. But hey, we have 35, uh, walls to work with here. Something. I don't know. I'll think about this overnight. See what we can come up with, but... We'll work on that tomorrow as well. Uh, I guess the fishing route isn't really going the way I planned. Okay, well, let's check the weather. Clear and sunny. Let's go ahead and pet the animals Good night. Give the poet a peck. What? I don't know. Anyway, sorry today was sort of a bust, but that just leaves tomorrow. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.